In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to troubleshoot the hmm, can't reach this page error message in your web browser. This issue can be frustrating, especially when you're trying to access a website and it just won't load. Don't worry though, because I'll walk you through the entire process of fixing it in a few easy steps. First, you'll want to close your web browser completely. This ensures that we start fresh. Once that's done, move your mouse cursor over to the Windows icon on the taskbar and right click on it. From the list that appears, select Settings. Now in the Settings menu, there's a search box. Go ahead and type in the word Proxy. You'll see an option that says Change Proxy Settings. Click on that. Here, you'll find a setting labeled Automatically Detect Settings. Make sure this option is turned off. Disabling this can sometimes resolve issues with connecting to the internet. After you've done that, you can close the settings window. Next, head over to the Windows search box and type in ncpa.cpl. This will bring up the ncpa.cpl control panel item, which manages all your internet connections. You'll see a list of network adapters such as Ethernet and Wi-Fi. Identify the one you're using, whether it's Ethernet or Wi-Fi, right-click on it and choose Properties. In the Properties window, find an item listed as Internet Protocol Version 4, TCP IPv4, and double-click on it. You'll see another box pop up. This is where you'll make a small but significant change. Look for the option Use the following DNS server address and click to enable it. Now you have a choice. You can use either Google or Cloudflare's DNS addresses. For this example, I'll use Cloudflare. In the preferred DNS server field, type 1.1.1.11 and in the alternate DNS server field, type 1.0.0.119. Once entered, click OK and then hit OK again to close all windows. With those changes made, right-click again on the same connection and choose Disable. This action helps to refresh your network settings. After it's disabled, right-click one more time and select Enable. Essentially, you're restarting your adapter without having to restart the whole system. Now here's the final stretch. Open your search box and type CMD. You'll see Command Prompt. Right-click on it and pick Run as Administrator. When the command prompt opens, type ipconfig flushdns and press enter, followed by typing netchhwinsock reset. Hit enter again. Once these commands run, you'll need to restart your computer. Upon restarting, launch your browser and try accessing that stubborn website again. This process should have effectively resolved the connection issue. And that wraps it up. If you found this video helpful, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.